first NATO country demands no-fly zone in Ukraine. As Russia's air raids continue, Estonia's parliament has become the first NATO member to advocate for a no-fly zone in Ukraine. The Rigikogu invites the UN member states to take prompt action to create a no-fly zone in order to avert enormous civilian fatalities in Ukraine, the parliament announced on March 14. A no-fly zone has been raised as a potential danger of escalation that may lead to a worldwide war, according to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres when questioned by reporters if the zone should be imposed. A no-fly zone has been demanded by Ukrainian authorities from the beginning of the war on February 24. NATO and White House officials, on the other hand, have said that a no-fly zone in Ukraine has not been considered, since it would require American or NATO aircraft shooting down Russian ones, which is not something that has been discussed. Russia might respond by escalating its assaults, possibly nuclear ones, the administration of Vice President Joe Biden warned. The US and NATO will not wage a war against Russia in Ukraine, Biden said, since a direct clash between NATO and Russia means World War III. On March 14, fighting raged across Ukraine's major cities, including Kyiv, the country's capital. Ten humanitarian corridors will be opened on March 14 for the evacuation of people. As part of a special operation aimed at demilitarizing Ukraine, Russia claims that it has not targeted civilians. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, home to 44 million people and a democracy, has been denounced by the West and its allies is based on a sham. The bulk of refugees have been taken in by frontline nations including Poland, Slovakia, Romania, Hungary, and Moldova, with others moving farther west. Over 1 million individuals have entered Poland since the conflict began, with 18,400 coming on March 14 at the crack of dawn, according to Poland's border guards.